this was our view. <laughs> it's actually a pretty nice view, isn't it? How's it going? So. So yeah, this is basically our last goodbye here. Yeah, like we're about to close up everything and go turn in our keys, so this is it. It's actually rather nice that uh, we get such a nice, gorgeous scene <laughs> as our final goodbye. Yeah. Too bad it wasn't like this the entire time. Yeah, it's nice except for the neighbors. Oh. I'm standing in what was the set. We always filmed in this corner. Tiny little corner, right? Yeah, we had the chairs here, the table, TV right there, camera right by the TV. And that's our front door. <laughs> and then back here, a very, yeah. Uh, bedrooms this was a very very tiny apartment for having three people three grown men in this tiny tiny little living space this was this was Rizzo's room small lady quaint actually you want to lay down <laughs> not really because I've been moving shit all day and I'm not going to get back up off the floor right Oh yeah, sorry about the horrible, horrible lighting. This was this was DK's room. Yo. Tiny, tiny little place. Yeah. No clock. No awesome space. cosmic power to go with that though. <laughs> <laughs> but I figure I'd give you at least a uh, a more elaborate you know, former scene. apartment tour seen through exactly how tiny, tiny, tiny our, our living space was. This was our dining room. <laughs> and that was our kitchen. Tiny, tiny as hell, right? This has been three whole minutes, supposed to be three whole minutes. Far longer than we'd ever want to be back in this spot, but man. And then after a nice long drive through two mountain passes, past Tracy, we are finally here in our fantastic new home after a very, very long period of trials and tribulations and a lot of problems with housing and communication and all that. <sighs> anyway, here it is. It's huge. <laughs> I didn't think that we could get such a fine piece of cow history. Oh. I, I can't even speak. Can't even speak. It's huge. It's absolutely, absolutely huge. I love it. I'm so excited. And here it is. That's our front room. Room. 
and uh, apparently we have a Harry Potter room. Oh, hey, Zero. Oh, a DK room. Small space. Big guy. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Come on, bro. Get out of here. <laughs> so, yeah. So, as we said, this is our front room, door, stairway, chandelier. Another chandelier. Funny story about this chandelier. It's a little too short. Not two minutes after he walks in, Russo already bonked his head on it. And then two minutes after that, we decided that chandelier is begging for something to be put under it. You can't really just say table. I wonder what we could be alluding to. Hmm. Anyway. Now we go to the dining room. Not really, yeah, not really sure what to do with this one. It's... We have some ideas. Uh, we're thinking of making this into a secondary set of sorts, so that when we have friends over, I know, right? <laughs> we could actually do, say, group streams. Envisioning a couch here, a nice monitor or two, or three, or four. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, that fireplace is a gas fireplace, and it works very well. <laughs> Kitchen. So, we had a very funny joke in the old place, right? This kitchen is a one-man kitchen with three men trying to fit in. I would say this shit's smaller than a decimal. <laughs> Both jokes apply though. It'll work tiny. But as you can see, this is still the kitchen. <laughs> it's a fucking massive kitchen. I oh, I love it. Oh yeah, and the fridge came with it. But, uh, they forgot the washer and dryer. Sam, we'll fix it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, well, let's three see out of five different sets, possibly in this house, or property. Here's another one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to... The future of the Saga Workshop. <laughs> this is a three car garage. And the awesome checkered flag plastic flooring came with it. Freddy? Right. Over here is just all of our stuff that we have yet to move in. But this is going to be, I guess, the machine shop side of things when we're done. So we'll actually undo the flooring and, like, uh, fixing to put in, like, say, a nice vertical mill, a drill press, maybe a lathe if we can swing it. Possibly. It's a big fucking... It's a big car garage, man. I swear that this garage is probably bigger than our apartment was. Yeah, close to it. Which is sad. Very sad. Certainly bigger than any one bedroom in the common area combined. Right? Let's say we show them the pride and joy, though. The crown jewel of a Tucker house. Well, we have one thing to do before we go upstairs. Oh. That's to go back here. <laughs> Ready? Oh. So yeah, not the most glamorous shot. A storm kind of came through and blew some Paul fronds over, but this is our backyard. And not only is this our backyard, <laughs> oh. not only is this our backyard, there's a storm. Oh, 
this is also part of the backyard. <laughs> a river literally runs through it. Think how many bodies you can fit in there. Not only that, that goes all the way back to the bay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But yeah, this is this is like set four of five. <laughs> hmm. Because we got barbecue stream. <laughs> Or an yeah, inner tubing live stream out on the <laughs> slough. Just lots of fun ideas. Yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and go back in. Yeah, before I start thinking of how many leeches you're gonna bite my ass. <laughs> All right, so how many sets do we have so far? We have one. Natural. Like this might be for intro stuff, just some fun things. Two. For big group streams. And possibly and sessions perhaps. Kitchen. Three. Rizzo's cooking show that we've been teasing for a while. Garage four. Cosplay prod making projects, robotics projects, and pretty cool geeky tinkery stuff. Uh, I'm a, I, apparently I miscounted. Backyard is five with, um, I don't know, wrestling around, sparring. That, yeah. Random barbecue stuff. We need a wrestling ring in there. Just because. But, the main one. <laughs> the one that you guys probably really want to see, because you Y'all are the reaction guys. You know that's what you want to see, right? Of course they're the reaction guys. It's all we really post. Rock, rock, rock. Oh. Okay, a little break room. A little office space hangout area here. Yeah, not much to it right now. No. Oh, ooh, ooh, this I want to show off. When we get this done, this will be the shrine for our white food. Make a little uh, plinth right here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll have an audience vote and uh, we'll either try to get the figurine or uh, take one of the figurines on our set and just uh, put it here in our place of honor. Sort of look at it and admire before we go into film on the main set. Before that, my room. That's not a set. Rizzo's room. So you gotta, you gotta see the space, man. Okay, 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 fair enough. You gotta see the space that we have. Yeah, we need to check. <laughs> another room. Yeah, another room. That's DK's actual room. One of three rooms where no magic happens whatsoever. This is what you really want to see, right? <laughs> <laughs> New, 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 not new, not new. We are missing six, six waifu. And most of them are broken. <laughs> Patreon.com slash attack saga. We need super glue. <laughs> Among other things. <laughs> So yeah, this is it. Hey, Zero, come on here, have a seat. Let them see what life is like from your point of view. Oh, here. I also need one of those little plastic things or chairs to roll on. This carpet is thick. That's what she said. Carpet is thick. So yeah, this is my spot. Let's see if I can do this. I can swing around all the way now. <laughs> <laughs> this space is so nice. I can't tell you how much I I appreciate having so much space coming from such a tiny, abysmally tiny apartment. Yeah, this way I don't have to bumble with my arm every half second. We have so much space now. We're not sure what we're gonna do with it all. <laughs> but we do want to make sure that 
the majority of it goes up on the channel at, uh, in some variety. We want to make the whole house a set. We want to utilize all the space we have. Oh, actually, speaking of which, there's one more thing I want to show. Kind of weird, but it's pretty cool. Especially when you hear what we have in mind for it. <laughs> so... Oh, wait, wait. Oh. Huh? I said there was a bathroom downstairs. Oh. I didn't point out... There's a bathroom here, too. <laughs> this one's a full-size one. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. So again, yeah, don't freak out too much. But technically, we've set up our main set in the master bedroom. So this is kind of a top floor suite. Go through here. This is not a set. Maybe. Got your bow out. But back here. <laughs> Welcome to our new recording studio. Our voiceover work, like say a Taco Top Tens whenever I get around to it, or anything we might want, maybe a solo gaming session, whatever. This closet is big enough to facilitate recording that. So yeah, it's going to be, it's going to, we're going to be installing, or installing, putting computers in here, screens, monitors, yeah, with all this, uh, the internet hook uh, cook up is right there. If we can hook directly in. Uh, the internet that's now a gig download speed. Yeah, mm, gig of download speed, what was it, like 45, 50 upload. Uh, 10 megas, uh, millisecond latency. At least on the computer. On the Xbox is better. The ping is a lot better on the Xbox. Oh, good God. <laughs> oh, good God. We have good yeah, internet. We were, we we're also thinking possibly like the entire wall is going to be decked out in audio foam. Um, we also think about possibly putting a green screen in here. If not, somewhere out there. We got a lot of room we can do it in. We got so much room. It's uh, so it's... amazing. But yeah, so yeah, just to get into a recording studio, we're going full Weird Al Yankovic, and we record in the bathroom. Totally. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed our first Bush. Ah. tour, I guess. Yeah, we'll be giving another tour maybe uh, once all our plans come to fruition. So, when everything's a little bit chaotic, you know how moving it is. We still have all. <sighs> we have these boxes. You saw everything out in the garage. And in the driveway, you saw the big RV, which we were borrowing to move stuff. That's full of our shit. So, we still have a lot of work to do, but when everything is assembled, everything's good and ready. We'll give you a proper house tour. But until then.